Hello everyone, thanks again for watching The Real World Prepper. On this episode, we're gonna talk about how family and friends might get you killed. Here we go. Okay guys, uh, you saw from what I said in the, uh, in the opener there, family and friends in a SHTF situation. Will they be an asset or will they be a liability? Uh, are you obligated or are you not? There's been a lot of videos on this already. I think I've even touched on it some. Uh, Corsair trainers just put one about family and preparedness. Uh, I know zombie farmers talked about it. So has my good buddy Kansas Prepper. Uh, and again, like I say, I, I have touched on it too, but as we gear up to go to a family function here just in a little while today, uh, a dinner in lieu of a couple of birthdays, my birthday's this week, yay, happy birthday to me, as is my mother's. We're a few days apart in our birthdays. And uh, so we'll be gathering. And this reminds me of uh, something that I've been dealing with. Uh, I have had there's been a couple of comments made that I've gotten secondhand from very close family members regarding prepping and uh, what I do and what they think about it. As you probably would expect, uh, there's a lot who think that it's nuts, right? Who think that, that I'm ridiculous for doing what I do that it's ridiculous when I talk about what I talk about uh, regarding prepping, being prepared, um, looking at the signs of the times and understanding that, uh, you know, without trying to be doom and gloom here, but that the end is near, you know, the end of this system as we know it is near. Uh, we, there's no doubt about it in my mind, guys, that the, the, the end of this current system that we live in is, is near, um, be it, financial, which I'm leaning more towards a financial collapse. However, any type of thing that could happen, you know, whatever it may be, an attack by a foreign enemy, uh, an attack from within, uh, you know, a massive earthquake or weather event, any of these things are going to shut down the economy anyway, anyway. So I think that the economy is going to be broken uh, beyond repair, whether it is that on its own or whether it is uh, brought upon by you know some other event but the fact remains that that that's where it is uh, speaking to that if I may real quick again uh, my guys zombie in Kansas have talked uh, and and there's others out there that do the same thing about stacking silver stacking gold precious metals um, I'm going to do a different video coming up soon, but I believe I have totally reevaluated how I feel about that and and uh, 401ks and all that good stuff. And I plan to make a major paradigm shift very soon. But that's a side note. We'll talk about that another time. So today's visit that is is uh, has not happened yet that we'll be going and doing here shortly, next couple hours, with the family will be the first time I have been face to face uh, with these family members uh, who who disagree and scoff at the idea uh, that I prep and why we would prep. 11.15 is not too late to drink coffee on the weekend, is it? I hope not. Well, anyway, uh, so I'm a little interested to see how this is going to go. Um, uh, honestly, hopefully I don't even, I hope it doesn't even come up, you know, uh, I don't want to have these uncomfortable conversations with these close family members only because I already know their stand and I know these family members so well, uh, as you might expect that I know there is no amount of changing their minds. You know, I, I don't believe so anyway, maybe I'm wrong, but you know, we've kind of been down this road before. It's been no secret that this is what I do within my family anyway. But since I started this channel and uh, I invited a family member onto it who I thought might be at the very least interested in what I had to say, knowing this family member does not prepare themselves. Uh, instead, it has almost created a problem. 
you know, where, you know, they worry for me. Oh my, oh, what is, what is RWP got himself into, you know? Uh, oh, and, and RWP's taking his child down this road and his wife down this road. And oh, 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 the ramifications. You know, what will people think? Oh, I don't give a, give a damn, first of all, what people think. Pardon the expression there, but I don't. Uh, because when it all crashes, the people who think I'm nuts are going to be the ones that I'm going to have to politely possibly with the end of a barrel of a gun point them in another direction you know uh, and that brings me to to the topic of this let's talk about what do you do with your friends and family uh, especially the naysayers and the scoffers after SHTF <clears throat> now quickly let's cover that the obvious the obvious thing is this if you've got friends uh, friends or family that do prepare and that are making preparations and even if they're in small stages again I've got a sibling that lives just right down the road from me that is uh, not a scoffer as much as I think this sibling is just maybe not as much a believer as me but this this sibling believes in me believes in me may not believe everything I have to say regarding what I, how I think the world's going to go and it is going but believes in me and uh coupled with the fact that this sibling has told me many times over the years you know oh, well i'm just going to come to your house when everything comes crashing down if that's what happens well i have kind of convinced this sibling to start making some preps of their own um uh, you know got two children you know obviously my my uh my kin you know I care deeply for them, love them more than anything. And so, so I'm glad that this, this sibling has decided to make some steps, right? And is doing some things. Now, not very ready otherwise, you know, uh, I will say the sibling is a nurse, so there's a skill. So it, 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 it lends to the idea that you've heard me say and others say that if somebody, be it a friend or family, if they can bring a, uh, a skill to the table or supplies to the table or both, you know, to the table, then that is somebody worth considering including in your group, including in your plans. Uh, certainly on the front end, in an ideal situation, you guys have already talked all this out and you have a plan together and you practice this plan together. This is not the case with this sibling, okay? And I, I dare say it will never be the case with this sibling to, to, to get that deep into it. But at the very least, this sibling is collecting things, uh, food and water and medical supplies, and again, has the skills, uh, is a nurse for 20 some odd years. So, and the fact that I love them dearly, even if they were completely desolate, I'm just going to tell you, a couple houses down, you know, they're all women, uh, and they're my close family. I, I reluctantly say I would bring them in. I say reluctantly because... You know, that just means it is that much less that me and my family have. If they came over here empty-handed, and I wouldn't turn them away. How could you do that? That's a heartless thing. Um, there's going to be a lot of these tough decisions where you're going to feel like a heartless slob. You know, when you're having to turn away people who are desperate. You know, people who, who are genuinely crying out for need. But look, the cries are being yelled right now. I mean, the need is apparent right now. If they would just open their eyes and look at what's going on and understand, then they would know and start doing these things right now. And so that'd be one less or two less or a family's less zombies walking around, you know, the streets when all this stuff comes crashing down. As Zombie Farmer puts it, when the house of cards comes falling down, <coughs> you know, if we can prep up some other people, that's just one or more or less zombies walking around the streets not knowing what to do so if a friend or a family who i have not let's say you know we haven't uh created an alliance or whatever and they're not part of a group or some kind of thing you haven't even had these conversations but after the fact you know you encounter them they show up at your house or, or whatever the case may be you know you 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 know they you and them get together and they say, look, man, I, I don't know. This is crazy. You know, what do we do? 
you know, I can, you know, I've got this skill and that skill, and I've also got these things put up. Can you help me? You know, then yes, yes, I can. And I, yes, I will. But if they come saying, I don't have anything, please give me some food. I don't, I don't have anything to, any way to protect myself. Please give me a weapon and some ammunition. Um, I don't, I don't know how to do this. Will you do it for me? This skill, this, this task. That's a tough one, guys. Friend or family. That's a tough one. Especially if it's somebody that you have been preaching the, this message to and they have scoffed at you. Or even in best case scenario, they just politely go, oh, well, I hear you. That sounds like a good idea. And then they will go on with their life not doing anything about it. You know, that's sort of the same thing. That's like very dismissive. And, and uh, so for those with their eyes open with some skills, with some preps, uh, you know, yes, in an after-the-fact uh, SHTF situation, then they will be met with open arms and, at the very least, with consideration of getting to join in what me and my family and group are trying to do to survive after the fact and potentially fight after the fact if it comes down to, to a fight uh, amongst citizens of the United States or other you know, potential enemies, foreign and domestic, right? So when it comes to, uh, when it comes to family that, that scoff at the idea and think you're ridiculous, you know, what do you do when they come knocking? What if it's your mom? What if it's your elderly mom? Well, I already know I'm going to take her in, you know, her and my elderly dad, if I have to, even though they may be the scoffers, right? Now, I'm just telling you that's what I'm going to do because that's where what my heart tells me to do, what God tells me to do. I, I can't, in good conscience, just say, no, sorry. But I, I plead to them, if they watch this video, I plead to them to understand that this is a potential reality. Make some preparations. Make some plans so that you can be an asset and not a liability. And this goes for anybody. Anybody who's not prepping, do it. Be an asset. Don't be a liability, okay? It's going to be very tough because a lot of people uh, are going to be turned away by friends and family. And I fear that that will be a situation I too will have to deal with. Um, and I fear it because it's it's a very uncomfortable thought. It's It's not something that I look forward to doing, you know. <clears throat> a lot of folks have this idea that in and after the fact, you know, you're going to strap on all your tactical gear and you're going to post up at your house, you know, and, 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 uh, uh, you know, you're going to, uh, I got somebody trying to come in. I'm going to pause real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Um, uh, had somebody trying to come in and uh, I didn't want them in here and on this uh, video. So protecting the an anonymity of my family. So at any rate, the bottom line is this. You've, you're going to have choices to make when, when the time comes. You're going to have choices to make. And they're going to be very tough choices. And this is regarding your friends and family and who you allow in and, and who you turn away. And you're going to have to do it, guys, because... If you're preparing for you and your family, you know, and even if you're making little preps like, like Kansas had suggested about packing, you know, Walmart bags with three days worth of food and stashing them elsewhere off your property so you can point people in that direction, that's the best you've got for these other people, even if you, if you do that, you know. So you're going to have to make tough choices. Uh, my recommendation will be simply this, friend or family or otherwise, I would say first, now, while we have time, Please keep sharing this message with them. Please keep trying to encourage them to do the right thing. Please keep trying to convince them that they should be putting things up. If they don't believe in all this, uh, you know, 
this disaster type stuff we talk about economic uh your government collapsing or or folding or 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 turning on us or you know all of these big crazy conspiracy theories you know and all this stuff even if they're not about that remind them that there are storms that there are devastating weather events and things like that all kinds of things that can happen up a, a house fire you know anything reasons why they should prepare so that they're not completely without should some terrible thing come down the road for them so do that first and then if you've done your due diligence with at least your friends and family that are close to you then if they do come knocking after the fact and they have not done any of this stuff at least you can have a clean conscience doesn't mean it's going to feel good and it's going to be easy but you can have a clean conscience about saying sorry you know but i tried to tell you and i don't ha I've, I've only got you know, this tiny little, don't even tell them what you got. But, you know, I can barely take care of my own family for a, for a day or two. So you're going to have to figure it out for yourself, you know. Uh, and then, on the other hand, if they heed the warning, you know, then then maybe you've got somebody with skills, with assets, with uh, with preps of their own that, that don't know what to do and need somebody uh, to help lead and hopefully that's you. So be a leader, be prepared, uh, be a teacher, be a preacher, be a guide, be an encourager. We're not gonna do this alone. We've got to have community, but uh, just like with anything, uh, you know, you got a group of people and everybody's participating except for this one person. Well, this one person's dragging the rest of them down. So it's gonna be a tough road tough haul for that person and this is going to be a tough road for you too for having to uh deal with whether or not to allow that person or persons so just some food for thought today on friends and family that are unprepared in an after the shtf uh event so uh there will be more to come like i said we're going to talk more about some financial decisions and um you know 401k and saved money in the bank versus uh, uh, stacking precious metals more about that in a future video i thank you for joining me today on the real world prepper come back and check me out real soon